Hi, I'm Michael Glennon from Glennon Capital. And we're doing a little video um, to tell you some of the things that we look for in companies. We had a few people saying, hey, look, it's great that you've got uh, these businesses that you don't like, that you haven't invested in. And while it's important to preserve capital and not uh, make losses, people have been interested in what are some of the things that we look for in some of the businesses that we invest in. So there's five key things that we look for when we're investing in a business. Um, the first of those things is the quality of management. Uh, then the business has to have some type of growth prospect, either growing revenue or being able to grow margins while revenue stays constant. Um, the business has to be a sustainable business. So it's a business that we know is gonna be around in a few years time. It's not a fad or a fashion or something that's um, good for a couple of years. We wanna make sure that if the market does shut down and that business was our only investment that we know that it's gonna generate cash for us to live off over the next couple of years. Um, the other thing we like to see is that businesses are operating in industries that have got barriers to entry. So not just anyone can go out and set up a business. We like there to be some type of barrier that prevents people from coming in, which allows companies to put their prices up, uh, which is an important characteristic. So, And the final thing that we look for is that once you've been through all of those factors and you, and you like a business, it's got to represent good value. You have to think that what, you buy, what you're buying is good value and that you're going to be able to make money because not all of the information is reflected in the share price. So going into some of those things in a little bit more detail, uh, in terms of management, what we like to see is we like to see management that's got a little bit of skin in the game. Um, and what that means is that their interests are aligned with yours. So either they have a significant portion of their wealth invested in the stock, uh, or that they're getting remunerated through shares and that their main driver for uh, being in the business is not because they're taking a large salary out. So we like that alignment of interest where the executives of the business are really pushing to deliver value to shareholders through share price appreciation because ultimately that's how um, returns are generated for shareholders. So assessing the quality of management, their track record and whether they're aligned with shareholders is one of the most important things you can look for um, in a small company. How we do that is we have many, many meetings with companies. Every day we're meeting companies, talking to the management, we've been doing it for many years. And so that's allowed us to accumulate a large history of information on the track record of management, what they've done before, if they've had other business failures, um, or if they've had a successful um, series of, of past roles in companies. So um, that making that subjective assessment about the quality of management is very, very fundamental to making a good investment. Uh, the second thing that we look for is the growth prospects. So we need a company to be growing their, um, either their revenue or their margins, which ultimately results in growing profit. And when I say profit, it, it really needs to be a cash profit that the company is growing. So there is a difference between um, the cash that comes into a business and the reported profit. We like to make sure that cash flow is growing, operating cash flow, because that's ultimately how you can pay dividends to shareholders at the end of the day, or use that free cash to further invest in the business and grow the business, which is a characteristic of many small companies. Uh, the next thing that we look for is the business has to be a sustainable business. So there's been many businesses, you know, if you look at the dot-com boom, for example, many, many of those businesses are not around now. They were there for a couple of years. We need to make sure that businesses have got a long-term um, operating outlook. So that what I mean is that it's not a business that's gonna be around for a couple of years where there's gonna be a quick burst in revenue and then it'll all disappear. We like businesses that if the stock market shut down, we've got confidence that there's demand for those products going forward into the future for several years. So as I said, we're buying the shares in a business and we're owning a business. No different to owning an unlisted business, just that the businesses we're buying are traded on the stock exchange. So we'd like to make sure that if the stock market shut down for some strange reason, that we would then have the ability to get cash flow out of the business that we've invested in. So it's a very fundamental thing to make sure that the business is going to keep operating in three, four, five, ten years time. The other thing we like though is companies that are operating in industries that are regulated or have barriers to entry. What that means is they've got the ability to increase their prices as opposed to the clients having the, the balance of power and saying, look, you know, we want you to put down your prices. So for example, Companies that are operating, um, supplying, you know, Ford and the large auto manufacturers have got a history of the, the, the auto manufacturers saying, look, this year you've got to drop your prices by 10%, which means they've got to go through their business, they've got to get rid of people, they've got to get their inputs cheaper. That's not a great business to be invested in. We like the opposite situation where there's enough demand for the product that um, people can put their prices up 
or alternatively, there's not price pressure from new entrants coming into the industry. So barriers to entry, very important when you're looking at um, a small business. And finally, as I touched on earlier, after you've looked at all of those factors, the business has to represent good value. You know, and the simplest way I can make an analogy to that is if you're looking at buying a car and you know that um, a brand new Commodore is worth $50,000, there's no point going out and saying, I really want a Commodore and paying $60,000. You know, everyone when they go out and try to buy a car, you know, they're trying to get the best deal that's possible. So if you can get the $50,000 car for $40,000 and you like all of the other factors that are um, around the business, that's what we're trying to do. So. Look, they're the five key things we look for when we're evaluating a business. We will do some more videos and go a little bit more into things like management and what we mean um, by growth prospects. So if you're interested, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to email us or ask some questions in the comments and um, we'll endeavor to answer those questions. Thank you.